official crew today i'm gonna show you how to do this creative eye transition welcome back guys i'm bushy visual and to make this video to make this effect you need to shoot a video of your eyes like a close-up of your eye using a macro lens what i mean by macro lens is one of these lens as you see here i'm using a macro lens to shoot a video of my eye so that's where the transition is gonna happen so let's get to it if you have your macro shot ready let's get to premiere pro and then after effects i'm gonna show you let's go all right guys so we are here in premiere pro and the reason we are here before after effects is because let's say you're already in a project and you just want to use this especially these two clips to make that transition it will be easier to just select these two clips and then transfer them to after effects instead of having to line up the clips in after effects itself which is gonna be a pain in the ass so yes guys so we have this macro shot of of the eye and then there is this drone shot that we took in um, Laguna Beach which is a really nice clip that will match up for what we want so what we're gonna do is grab these two clips and we're gonna use the After Effects and Premiere Pro's dynamic link so you're gonna right click after you select them and click replace with After Effects composition this would activate the dynamic link between After Effects and premiere pro by doing this we are linking basically sending all the data from premiere pro to after effects that we're gonna use to edit our clip so as you can see after effects open up we're gonna save the project i'm gonna choose a nice name i'm gonna save it And then as you can see, everything will be transferred. Both of those clips are gonna be transferred into After Effects, where we're gonna create that effect. There's no need to import any other clips because we have the clips that we wanted to, to grab from Premiere to here. So basically every change that you do in After Effects will be reflected into Premiere Pro because the compositions are linked. All right, let's go back to After Effects. So we have a new composition here with our two clips. The first thing you want to do now is select the first clip, the one with the eye. You want to select that clip, move a little bit, move to the beginning of the clip and select the ellipse tool and make a mask, draw a mask right on the pupil on the eye. Something like this good for now and you want to invert this mask because we want to create basically a hole where the camera is gonna fly through to create the transition so you want to put the other clip under and we get something like this so now you want to come to the first clip you want to select that first clip and you want to hit M in your keyboard to bring up the mask and then you want to activate the stopwatch and the mask path click on there then you right click on the mask and track mask now we're gonna track forward we're gonna let it track okay it's finished so now we have a mask that is tracked as you can see here it's perfectly tracked all right now let's go to the bottom clip and let's go exactly at the moment where the eye clip ends uh, right here press ctrl shift d to split that clip in half as you see now we have two clips all right just like this let's go to the beginning of the composition and let's open that clip open transform and let's scale it down 
so we can have a better view of what's happening in the in the drone clip because this is actually how it's gonna look it's gonna look scaled down since it's in the eye you know so let's open the mask properties and the first clip also let's go to feather and let's feather it out let's increase maybe by 60 this is good it's looking good so now we have a clip that looks like this we can see the other clip inside the eye that we shot before all right let me show you something as you can see we have that clip if we remove it we have a hole which is basically the mat where the camera is gonna go through all right let's bring the clip back in just like this now we're gonna go to the end of the sequence which is the last frame right here before it transitions to the drone shot and we're gonna go back 25 frames just like this we'll count 25 frames that's where we are We're gonna go ahead and grab that clip now you want to open up the transform properties and you want to click in the stopwatch for scale and position just like this then you want to move to the end of the clip right before the transition is supposed to finish and you want to scale up you want to scale all the way through just like this scale that clip you can adjust the position to fit the frame better if it's not right in the center something like this scale a little bit more adjust the position and scale all the way through until we don't see anything from the eye looking good just like this close it up then let's go to the second clip which is the clip of the drone go back to the same place where the first keyframe is which means 25 frames back right here click on the stopwatch for scale and now move again to the end of the clip right before the transition which is here scale this one up too just like this now you can see that we have something that looks a little bit off like this but don't worry we're gonna fix that right now what you want to do is offset the last keyframe bring it back close to the first one until we have something that works still a little bit off I want to move it a little bit more to the left until it fills up the eye just like this and now we have something that looks like this looking a little bit better yes let's play it back let's see it's looking good we still have some stuff to do let's tweak it a little bit more to make it look better So now we're gonna select these three clips, right click, pre-compose, click OK. Go back to the main composition. Now we have a pre-comp that looks like this. We're gonna go ahead to effects 
and we're gonna look for one effect that is called optic compensation. We're gonna drop it on our precomp, and we're gonna go to the moment where the transition is at peak, which is right here. We're gonna invert this option here and then we're gonna open up the stopwatch right here for the field we're gonna move to the moment where the transition is happening and we're gonna increase the value here so we're gonna get this warping effect which is gonna sell out this transition. Let's open up here in the bottom so we can see better what we're doing. Let's move a little bit forward and now let's bring it back to zero. So if we play this, we're gonna have something that looks like this. We have the warping effect that represents the moment when the camera is passing through the eye. It gets that distortion. Now, to finish it up, let's activate motion blur for the composition and for this clip. And let's play it back again. Here we have it. So now let's go ahead and save this. And the good thing about the dynamic link is that whatever you save in After Effects, if you go to Premiere Pro, the changes will be applied there too. What you wanna do now is right click, render and replace, choose that option. Click OK and Premiere Pro is transcribing all your data. Your video is changing the format so it's easy to work with in Premiere Pro. Now if you play it back, we have this effect back in Premiere Pro. Here you have it guys. This amazing eye transition that you can use in your travel videos, travel vlogs, whatever you want. Just don't forget to color grade it, add a nice color correction and make it look amazing. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like it, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!